In today's tutorial, we're going to use book cover templates and an AI book cover generation tool that will help us create book covers that look like this. Now, to follow along and create your own AI book cover, simply head over to Scribble and then sign up for an account. Once logged in, you'll be on your main account page here. So let's create our first book by clicking on this button here. Now, before we start adding any text, we need an image for our book cover. Now, traditionally, hiring professional artists to create stunning book covers was expensive. A book cover that requires custom art and not just clip art will usually cost hundreds and sometimes thousands of dollars. But today I'm going to show you how to create your first book cover for free using this AI book cover generation tool. Now the first thing we need to do is feed the AI a prompt. Now the prompt is a text-based description of how you want your book cover art to look. So let's imagine I'm creating a sci-fi novel that takes place in the mountains. For this, I'll type in futuristic town in the mountains winter. Now under style, I'll select surreal and then I'll select the number of covers I want to generate. Now keep in mind that if you're currently on a free plan, just select one here so you don't burn through your free credits too quickly. Now I'm on a paid account, so I'll select five and then I'll run the request. Now here are the results I get when I run that request. Now what I can do is I can find the book cover that best suits my needs and then click on this button down here. Next, I'll fill out the details over on the left and then I'll create this book. Okay, so now my book is created, but I might want to add some text to it. So for that, what I want to do is I want to download a book cover template that I can use here. Now by default, um, Scribble creates images that are about a thousand pixels wide and tall, and that will work for virtually all web-based purposes. And also, as a side note, it's really important to remember that when using the AI art generation tool within Scribble, you get full usage rights to commercialize any of the images you create, including the rights to reprint, sell, and merchandise. So if you're on a free account, you'll be able to download your image using this button here. And then you're going to see another icon here, which is going to allow you to download a template that you can then open up in a program, for example, like Photoshop, in order to kind of embed that image in and then kind of start experimenting with your text. However, if you require professionally sized book covers that would work for both um, distributing ebooks, for example, on platforms like Kindle or for printing uh, soft or hardcover books, you're going to need to work with both a larger template as well as larger image sizes. Now, the minimum resolution in most cases will be somewhere around 2,560 pixels in height by about 1,600 pixels in width as well as use a resolution of about 300 dpi. So if you require these professional settings, you'll need to have a pro Scribble account. If you have a pro Scribble account, you'll see two additional icons on this page. This icon here will allow you to download a larger image template with the settings that I mentioned above, the larger image dimensions as well as the higher resolution. And this icon here is essentially an AI upscaling tool which allows you to upscale uh, your image to a size that will work with the larger template that you download here. Again, these are only visible to pro plan users. However, as a pro plan user, uh, be sure not to overuse this feature because every time you upscale an image, it will deduct one credit from your AI image runs this month. So be sure only to upscale images that you actually plan on using for professional purposes. But for demonstration purposes today, let's just keep on working with the smaller book cover template and the smaller image size. So here I'll open up Photoshop, but keep in mind this book cover template could also be opened using free and open source photo editing software like GIMP. Now, once opened, you'll see a place to add your title, description, a review, as well as your name. So I'm just going to kind of fill out those details now. Now, in the end, I created a book cover that looks something like this. Now, once I'm happy with what I have, I can head back over to Scribble then click on this edit button here and then upload my book cover. So now I have my book cover ready. Now anytime I can select any of the other AI book covers by clicking on this icon here and then downloading the other images or just swap out this book cover for others by clicking on this button here. I can also run additional AI cover requests up here and all additional AI covers will be um, added down into this group here. Now once I'm ready, I can just click on my book cover and I can start adding chapters and writing my book. 
Now, if you're new to Scribble and you're unsure how to use the other features within this platform, just simply click on this question icon here within the application, and then you can watch a short video that will walk you through all of the main features of Scribble within about 13 minutes. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you found our AI book cover art generation tools as well as our book cover template resources helpful.